Hello, welcome back. In this lecture, I will show you how to automate TC001. We have given you 10 test cases in the sample project recording scenarios. These 10 test cases are coming from different module applications. If you automate these 10 test cases, you will get a fairly good idea of how to automate using Selenium. And I am going to show you two examples, TC001 and TC002. And then I will leave the remaining 8 for you to try. All right. So, so let's take a look how to how to approach to automate TC001. So in this document, you will get, you will get a very high level uh, level uh, plan for what to do. Okay. So from here, the goal is to build a keyword.xls, and that keyword.xls should look like this: exact detailed steps with how to identify the elements, with what are the parameters, if any, we need to send. All right. So so, so, so our goal is to write equivalent keyword dot xls for these steps. So before doing that, let's go and do these actions on the browser itself. I am clicking on localhost at Moodle and then it's saying that click on login page. So I'm going to login page and then it says click on on create new account. What is new account? So this is create new account. Therefore I click on that. Then there is a form is going to come. Okay, so in this step, he's saying that enter the following data in reg registration form. That means I have to give my username, password, and then all these things, and then create my new account. All right. So this is what we have to automate, and this test case is TC001, and it tests the functionality of user self registration. Okay, if all the steps working fine, then we say that the user can self register in the Moodle application. Right. So, so from this step, my goal is to build a keyword dot xls. So instead of basically here, it says only one step, but to make Selenium understand, I have to give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps or eight steps. All right. So I have to give eight steps. So let's write those things. Okay. So essentially, I have written those things, and if I let me show you. So this is how it's going to look like. My test case name is TC001. Then step one is open browser. So that's what it is given, open browser. And then which browser I need to open? I will need to open Firefox. Okay. Then step two says go to URL. Which URL? So basically go to this URL, right? So which URL do I, I need to go? I need to go to HTTP localhost slash motor. Then click on login link. So what, what is the login link? So the login link is here. I need to click on it, right? So I need to give this identification strategy here. How to identify this element called login? Inspect element. So, so and see how we are going to identify this thing. Since it's a link, so recall what we, what we talked in chapter 2. The different identification technique, like by name, by ID, by link. So this is simply, if you can do by link, it's going to work. Okay, so what do you do? Identification strategy is link, and what is the string? The string name is login. Okay, and then what is the keyword that you need to you need to give? So the keyword means remember these are the keywords that we have defined. Okay, we have these are the keywords that we have already have implementing functions to it. Okay, and those keywords are like this. So out of which, which one you think going to work? for this kind of scenario where we want to click something okay so let's take a look open browser no navigate to no it looks like click element okay in a click element this is exactly what we are clicking okay so we give web driver we give the identification strategies and then it will click on that okay so therefore so click element is the uh, is the keyword right i want to click on the new account button so after, after I go to login, I need to identify how to how to identify this create new account. Do inspect element with Firebug. So this is basically what is rendering that button. So this button is rendered by this HTML. So this does not have any ID, doesn't have any name. So we have to construct an XPath. So again, whatever you learned in chapter two, recall to do an XPath, we can we can take any attribute. So type submit will look like he, this is also having type submit. Okay, so instead of choosing type submit, let's choose value. Okay, therefore slash slash input iterate value equal to create new account. All right, the identification strategy will be XPath and the string is this. 
all right and then let's click on new account so we will do a click element all right then enter username so enter username remember like right now we have done this thing called send keys send keys is going to enter something right and send keys is going to take three parameters is what is the locator strategy locator string and then what is the value that we are going to send all right in case of enter username so our thing will be send underscore keys so how do i identify this username so i right click inspect element so it looks like we have very simple step forward we have an id so therefore we can use id okay so the the technique would be here id and then i think id username all right and then give the username is scott all right so enter password enter email address enter all these things are going to be send keys except enter country why enter country is a combo box it's not a text box what we can do we can just send some keys okay so how to handle a select box that is the new thing that you learned from this test case so we have not yet ever done anything that can select from a combo box then that's what we're going to do it here okay so how do we select a combo box okay so you will do all these things yourself i'm not bothering about that i'm going to enter country because enter country is little different than other things and what is the keyword let's call that keyword select item okay so select item is my keyword what is the locator strategy how do i locate this element go inspect elements so locator strategy is id id country okay that's very simple so locator strategy for this is id and id underscore country and then i need to select let's say that select is a usa if we go keyword driven framework that what i would build you do not have anything called select element or select item okay so select item doesn't have anything here so what does it mean i have to create a function myself okay so i need to do a select item function so here's the thing how do you write the select item function you know the way that you are writing send keys you are finding an element and then you are sending keys right so how do you do that here here is a like you know something that you can you can go on and read the web driver apis and do and here is also another very simple way that you can do so this is where your selenium ide is useful go to selenium ide and then do a sample record and in that record what i'm going to do i'm just going to put this name x y a a a then i'm going to select country and do algeria let's say see this is what is doing select id y country and label algeria let's export this test case as java j unit web driver it is going to give me some sort of idea what is the api to call selenium uh, let's say this is the temp okay the temp.java okay. so let's go to okay, so this temp.java that we have exported so let's open it and see what is there so this is the api that will that will help you to select so what are doing we are driver that find element we are finding an element by id and whatever the element that we find if that is a select if that's a combo box then we are creating a select object by this then whatever that corresponding object is coming we are doing select by visible text and then we are giving the text algeria right so basically this is this is a way that you, you approach you if you do not know what is the api to write you just can do a sample recording export it and then see what kind of things is coming here all right so basically using this technique what i have done i have written a method for select element select element is going to take four parameters one is obviously the web driver second one is how to locate by xpath by css or by link or whatever and this is which this is a string the locator string and then this is the value which value i want to give there all right and then the select element function is going to look like this select element web driver this this is so what i have done if the what i'm just saying like if say by if i'm searching by xpath or name or id so therefore the cache statement is going to give me a web element okay so this we is web element and then whatever web element i'm getting i'm giving that one to select constructor so that i can get a select box object and i can i can create a object of select class so that object name is select box is a select class and api called select by visible text 
and that I give Argentina all right so basically instead of Argentina I should have given here data so whatever whatever is coming right in the data and that data I can pass it on this Excel file and that is called USA if you do all the steps your steps are going to look like this now if you run this keyword driven framework then you should have automated this TC001 okay so now let's run so this is the uh, this is the um, the keyword file and that file name is Moodle okay so Moodle.xls contains all the keyword for TC001 okay and then what I'm going to do in this Moodle automation.java I am going to call this file called Moodle.xls alright and then if I run this program now then what it should do it should create a new account and that username is a1 so now let's run this program and see what is happening okay so run as Java application okay so it's clicking on that and then it's going on the new account and it's putting those things and create my new account so this is how you automate TC001 this is very simple once you have developed your framework okay then it's just a matter of going to this creating this excel file with the right kind of parameters and if you know while creating this thing as you see we didn't have any support for the select element no problem we we have created that uh, function so that we can support in our framework in the next lecture we are going to see the second recording scenario that is tc002 thanks